Based purely on the title, I wasn't sure I'd enjoy The World's Greatest Athlete because I'm not into sports. I don't generally like sports films, but there are some exceptions. But given that it's a Disney film and I'm trying to watch every Disney film, I thought I'd give it a go with an open mind. And there were definitely bits that I liked. I wouldn't say I came away from it having fully enjoyed it. And I think there were some bits, some attitudes that were maybe more problematic. But generally, I, I thought it was okay, and I think I liked it better than expected. This was released in 1973, directed by Robert Shearer, written by Gerald Gardner and Dee Caruso. And this is about a sports coach who goes to Africa, and while he's there, he comes across Nanu, played by Jean-Michael Vincent, who is uh, an incredible athlete. He is very fast, faster than a cheetah, and... The coach sees that this is his winning ticket. This is his way to turn his team around and finally have somebody who's going to actually start winning. And he spends quite a lot of time with Nanu and Gazenga, uh, played by Rothko Lee Brown. The coach is, is played by John Amos. And he tries to convince Gazenga to let his godson Nanu go back with him to America. Gazenga has a lot of reservations about letting Nanu go to America to compete with these other college athletes. And obviously, Nanu does end up going to America. That's the entire rest of the film. And it's all about him partly competing and, and being this incredible athlete, but also about him, well, having a romantic interest. I won't say too much about that. And dealing with the, the changes in culture because it's obviously a very different lifestyle to what he's used to and there are definitely some questions raised about whether that was the right thing to do or not to bring Nanu over um, and I feel like Gazenga had some pretty relevant um, and understandable reservations about this and I think the treatment of Gazenga as a character was great I really loved the character there are some attitudes about witch doctors and the practice of this kind of magic. But I feel like the attitudes, although uncomfortable to watch, were done in a way where the film itself was saying those attitudes aren't right, but some characters and indeed some people at the time do feel this way. So I think that the balance there is quite good, showing some pretty negative opinions and attitudes, but also showing that actually that's not acceptable. And I feel for the most part it was actually pretty okay and anything that did make me feel a bit awkward when watching it, for example, the fact that Nanu was basically treated like an object, not necessarily directly, but just the fact that they went to Africa, they discovered Nanu and decided that they had the right to say, hey you, leave everything you know and come back with us. Obviously Nanu could have just said no, but... I feel like just that initial thought of going there and taking somebody back with them for their own personal gain was, well, not great, put it that way. But the direction the film took, and ultimately what happened, I won't say how it ends, but the direction it took I thought was very pleasing and satisfying and helped to kind of quash any of those more awkward feelings. Also, I have to say, the scenes with the... The animals, particularly the big cats, were stunning. One of my favourite moments that genuinely made me laugh is when, uh, I think it was the coach, was shouting um, for Milo, repeatedly shouting Milo because this big tiger has come up beside him. And initially the tiger has his paws on his butt and that could be quite scary. But then as he continues to shout Milo... The tiger just kind of sits there, looks at him, kind of looks around a bit, as if to say, what are you making such a big deal about? I'm just a, a little pussycat, just sitting here innocently. And it was just so funny and so well done. I don't think there were really any other comedic moments in this for me, but that moment was... Well, actually, I think it's one of my favourite moments in any film ever. It just played out so beautifully. The performance was great. The tiger was wonderful. It was just, it was gorgeous. It lasted about a minute and a half, two minutes, but it played out very, very well. So there were definitely some good bits in this, some good bits that I thought will stick with me, such as that bit. I liked it more than I expected, given that it's a sports-based film, but... It's probably not, well, I probably wouldn't choose to watch it again, but also if somebody said, hey, I want to watch this, will you watch it with me? 
I probably wouldn't mind seeing it a second time, which is not what I was expecting to say. So it definitely took me by surprise. It's not perfect. It's not the best film ever, but actually the world's greatest athlete exceeded any expectations that I had. It's probably one that I'd say is worth checking out.